Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, but first let's have our shout out to Kayree, Ethel, Shelly, Connie, Uniquely Yours by Dawn Marie, Art Junkie, Judy, and Kath. I appreciate each and every one of you. Alright you guys, today we're going to make a mini file folder with files. So I am going to use these papers right here. Now they come on a page, they're a printable. They come like this, I've cut them apart. These are from Miss Cog's Crafts, Wildflowers of British Isles. They're so pretty, aren't they? And I really think I'd like to use this one right here. So I'm gonna set this one aside for now. And what I'd like to do first is I'm going to fold it in half. So I guess I'll tell you what size this is. You can make this any size you want. This happens to be about six and a half to about almost five. <clears throat> and I'm just going to fold this in half just like this. Get my bold folder and crease it. Now I'm going to use this as my front. So this is going to be the front of my file folder. And I'm going to use these pretty papers, I believe it's German, the book pages, and I'm going to place them in here. I'm going to glue them down. So let's just get one glued in so I can show you what I'm talking about. And I, as I do this, I'm going to tell you what hashtag Tag Me Tuesday is all about. It's a Facebook group. I invite you all to join. The only thing you have to do to join is it's going to ask you what the secret secret word is or something you don't have to answer that one I think I'm going to see if I can get my daughter to take that off but it's the rules you do have to agree on the rules and the rules are extremely simple be kind to everyone and there's no selling but it seems as though maybe it's not as easy to find as you would hope it would be so you do maybe have to look a little bit for it but if you don't say okay to those rules or that you agree I'm gonna to have to do what they call deny and that I just don't like that word but that's what they call it so I can I will not allow you to join the group if you don't agree to being kind to everyone and not selling so do look for those that question whether or not you agree to the rules so then what you can do is you get on the in the group and you can look at everybody's posting of that project on Tuesday that they saw that they wanted to try themselves and then they show us a picture or I invite you to show your picture of what you have made for that hashtag tag me Tuesday it's really fun because even though we're doing the exact same project they turn out so different everybody's uh, flavor of their style it comes out and it makes them all different and they're so much fun to look at so I invite you all to join and I invite you to post what you have created for the hashtag tag me Tuesday and we can all see and comment and you know it's just a lot of fun all right so I have got my book pages lined into my little file folder right here so it's going to look like this and I'm going to spend just a minute I'm going to ink around the edge uh, before I ink around the edge I am going to use my corner rounder so with that said okay so we have it rounded the, we have rounded the corners and we've inked all around on both sides now these are the little file folders or the files that go inside and this is from a paper pack and what I did was I just coffee dyed them and kind of toned down this um, silver writing but I still think it's beautiful and I think it goes nicely with this so I have made these smaller than the actual outside of the file folder as you can see I like to see the book page around the edge and I just I just like that look now this happens to be four and a half by 
about five and a half, four and a half by about five and a half. And I'm going to fold these in half. And we'll get this done right here. Just like that. I'm going to fold the second one. All right. Now, I like to place these inside here with the writing side up and with the, let's see here, which way do I like this? Which way did I do this when I, oh, now I get all confused. Yep, I think it goes this way, the way I like it this way. I think. No, it goes this way because I glue these two together. Sorry, guys. I get so discombobulated sometimes. Okay, it's going to go like this. So I'm having my pretty pages on the outside because we're going to glue these two together to make another pocket. So there's going to be a pocket here and a pocket here and then a pocket on the top. Okay, so... With that said, I'm going to find the middle right here, and I'm just going to mark the middle. I'm going to mark the middle here as well, and then I'm going to mark the middle here. Because I'd like to bring in my circle punch. This happens to be a one inch circle punch, and I'm just going to punch this out just like this. Just notch it. Give it a notch. I'm going to notch these two at the same time, just like that. All right, so now we have this look. I'm going to next bring in some what I'm going to call risers. They're just little strips of cardstock. And I'm going to actually just kind of say I want them to be about this tall. I don't need them to be all the way as tall as the page is. I just need a few to rise up or separate the pages so that you can get things in and out of the pages or the pockets easier. And if you make them, sorry guys, I'm thinking about cutting this up. I guess I've got too many at once. If you make these too wide, then you're not, that's going to make what you put, be able, it's going to make what you're able to put into the pocket less because it's going to take up that space of the pocket inside. So keep that in mind. You don't want to make them so large that you've reduced the inside pocket. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink around all of this before I glue the risers in. All right, so I've inked up all the way around the edge. I need to remember that this is the front of my file folder, so I'm going to put it in like this. Actually, I want it in like this. Okay, because of the writing. That's why I've chosen to, to switch it. Now I've got this in here. I'm going to actually just paper clip this for just a second. I'm going to fold this over like this. Make sure that these are folded nicely. All right. So get them back in here. Look at it one more time. Make sure everything's the way I want it. And I'm going to get a riser one of the risers. I'm going to place a little bit of glue. It's my hot glue because I need it to instantly stick so that we're not working with wet things and causing a problem. Put that on there. Then I'm going to put, this one seems a little wide to me, put another one on the other side. I had someone, I haven't answered my, my questions. I've been kind of busy and it's, I haven't gotten to them yet on my comments, but 
I did have someone ask me why I didn't put a riser on the bottom. Um, it's I find that it's really not needed that as long as you get the sides built up just actually just a little bit then it you don't need to have the bottom built up as well. That's just what my finding is on that. I'm just shutting this to get this in place. Looking at it again, now I'm going to lay my glue right down on the edge, just like this. And I'm going to fold this over and secure it so it's going to be glued in. Okay. So now we've got our first one glued in. It's coming right along, guys. So now I'm going to glue my other side, which is, happens to be my front. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm applying a little bit of glue onto my riser, and I'm just placing it on my little file folder here, my little folders, my files. I guess they have, these are called files, right? The what we're putting in there? Oh, I think so. All right, so we're going to add the glue there and we're going to place it right over here. All right, now just looking at it, make sure they're not coming out in any way. They're not. I'm going to fold this so it, I know exactly where it's going to go. Once again, I'm going to add a little glue right here, and I'm going to add a little glue on the other side, and I'm going to just simply fold it until it gets stuck together. Now when we open it, oh look you guys, it's looking so beautiful. Now let's do the center one. It's going to do the same thing, and we're going to make sure these are the same height. Yes, they are. One more time the glue on the riser onto the whoa, onto the folder. Get that glue off of there. There we go. Okay, now let's do the other side. I have one that I've finished. I have sewn that one. I added one other little element because I was sewing, but since this one is not sewn, then uh, I did not add that element because I find it kind of hard to attach without making it pucker when you're adding glue. So I did not include that. I'm holding it straight up and down because if you lean it over, it would... Uh, it would not marry up. It would go like this. So you want it to be like this, the two sides. So you can't lay it over. So just glue it straight up. So now we look like this. Super cool, right guys? Looks like I need to add just a little bit more ink right there. Yeah. All right. So now we have our pieces. Now, of course, you can decorate this any way you want. We have our little pieces that you can add in here. You can add one in the pockets like this. You can add them on the side like this. That seems to be a little big, that one. And you can put them right in here as well. So there's, there's one, there's a file folder, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So I think this one's probably too big to go in the middle here. but. There is another one right here in the middle that we made. Oh, actually, that's not so bad, right? Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Now, there's one more thing that I thought was really cute. I'm going to get my tab, and I have um, a ledger. I have a, actually, I think it's an accounting book. It's an old accounting book, and I just love these papers in here. And I'm going to punch out. Yes, I know I can punch them two at a time, but, you know, that's not happening. So we'll punch that out just like that. And we will ink around the edge very quickly on both sides. I just thought this, these numbers were pretty with the papers. And I like to put this on the back. So I'm just going to place it 
right here. And I'm going to go underneath the little folder. I think I want it, maybe I want it on this side. I want it on this side or that side. You know, it doesn't really matter. I put the other one on the other side, the, the one I'm going to show you as an example that I made when I was working this all out. And I'm just going to slip it right in there like that. Yeah, that, that I like a lot. I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to actually use hot glue on this one and put it right here. I get this married up together. There we go. Oh yes, I think that looks super cool, right? Super duper cool. Now, to keep it shut, I have some baker's twine. And you could actually leave the baker's twine on when you put it into your journal. Even if you glue the back onto the journal, you could leave the baker's twine on because only go around once. Don't go around and around. Just go around once and then you can tie it like this. My strings are a little long. I shouldn't have made them so long. But anyway, ooh, isn't that pretty? So if you glue this down, so it's glued down, so the strings would just open up and then you could do your thing with all your stuff inside and then you could just tie it back up so that is super cool now here's the one that I made it's a totally different flavor now this is the difference I put a piece of vellum right here so you could actually have another pocket but I did this because I sewed it on so you know sometimes when you use glue it doesn't like glue and it puckers so this is what this one looks like inside isn't this pretty? So they're just, you know, the pocket here and the pocket here and the pocket here and then the little file pieces right here. Oh my goodness, you guys. I absolutely love this project. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.